Hi. That looked so fake. Hi. So, mental health, lecture awareness, whatever, video, today, tonight, whatever. All right, so, um, a lot of you may know that, of course, some mental health issues run in my family. My father is a schizophrenic, but with age, it has gotten unbelievably he has improved unbelievably, but that is usually the norm. Um, and I was incorrectly diagnosed with borderline and then undiagnosed, but with some traits. But I had a therapy session today and I said, because I'm obsessed with abnormal psychology, I study it, I live by it because of the physiological proof. It's, I could talk about it all day, all night. All my life. It's so amazing. But I know that cognitive behavioral therapy works because, hello, it can introduce someone with dissociative identity disorder to their alters like that they didn't even know existed. Um, it is one of few a few ways of treating schizophrenia, talk therapy. But still, there's that voice inside of you, whether it's your ex that says, oh, depression, that's just an excuse, and blah, 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 where you may doubt it. Like, is this really going to help me? Sorry, I'm messing with my piercing because it's a debacle. Is this really going to help me question yourself, like sending these mantras into the universe? But I asked my therapist, I was like, can you give me, like, basically, tell me what to do, like, exactly? Should I write down a few things that I, you know, believe or I look forward to becoming a better A, B, or C? She said, write down five things every day, different things. Um, she said, you don't have to sit there and repeat them. She said, you don't have to manifest them. She said, just five things you believe. You know, they can be, I said, can they be shallow? Because I'm sorry, like, this is... It's realness. I was like, can it be shallow? She said, it can be as shallow as thank you for letting me have long hair and thank you that I have such an amazing daughter. It can be whatever, as long as it's a positive thing about yourself. And I'm going to do it because I started today and I look forward to this journey of getting myself cognitive behavioral therapy. And I also ordered a book called... Um, Cards Against Negativity. You can get that free people. So it's an at-home CBT guide, booklet, whatever. But yeah, like I have this kind of rule I live by. And it goes like this. If someone that has a mental disorder, if they want to be in a relationship, um, they deserve it just as much as the next person if and only if they are seeking help and they are bettering themselves and it's not hurting the relationship that being said on the other flip it around the person they are with only deserves them if they are supportive don't ever get with someone who tries to say <laughs> basically tries to downplay your mental health issues because that's just not cool. Okay, have a great night. Deuces.